The pain of Marlene's father runs deep and his outrage clear as he walked into the medical examiner's office to identify his daughter. CBS 2 Cesar Rodriguez spoke with the father and Cesar, he thinks the police botched this case. That's right, Erica. Directly, the father is upset. He's disappointed with this investigation and also with CBD, CPD's lack of communication. Meanwhile, we're told that the family is located here at the hospital where the child is on life support. Now his father wants answers. No pensaba que yo las iba a encontrar. Giovanni Lopez told the media outside the medical examiner's office that he never imagined he would see his wife in such a disturbing state. However, he has found peace because her body was found. Now he demands justice. <laughs> Hours before, Marlene's father was inconsolable and required his loved ones to assist him to walk to the main entrance of the Cook County office of the medical examiner. The victim's mother and other relatives arrived moments later to identify the body. Even if she's not going to see them. The Ochoa family and religious leaders exited the building and held a press conference an hour later. They demanded justice for those who killed Marlene. Also, they are upset with the Chicago Police Department's investigators, who they say did not have urgency to break the case. Marlene's father says he had to hire a private investigator to get to the bottom of this tragedy. Meanwhile, Marlene's widower. Giovanni Lopez says his son is in a coma and brain dead. The family also said today that they welcome any type of support to cover Marlene Ochoa's funeral costs. We're live in Oak Lawn. Cesar Rodriguez, CBS2 News. Guys, back to you. All right, heartbreaking. Thank you, Cesar. And we've been following this case for weeks. We put together a timeline from the day Marlene disappeared to today on our website. You can see it at cbschicago.com slash Marlene.